Hey everybody and welcome back to another unboxing video. So in this video we're going to be doing my very first box from Crate Club. Crate Club is another one of the subscription box services very similar to BattleBox. It's geared very much for the wilderness individual, campers, preppers, survivalists, those kind of individuals, people who like stuff like I like. So BattleBox, they're a monthly subscription service. Crate Club is quarterly. Now when you sign up, you have the option to buy a mystery box. So I've got no clue what's in here. This is my first box. My first full crate will be here, I believe, next week or the week after. So we're going to go ahead and open this up and yeah, we'll see what's in here. So I don't know what to expect other than things I've seen other people make comments about. I've heard that these boxes are hit and miss. Some people rave about them and love them. Some people don't. Go figure. Alrighty, let's see. Wow. Now, I do have the higher subscription. Oh, yeah, okay, Crate Club General. <laughs> and there's different ways of paying. Quarterly, annually. Annually gives you uh, $200 off for the annual subscription plus free shipping. That means you're going to get the higher end gear. So they give you a little flyer here. From my understanding is, this is going to tell us what's in the box. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Let's get right into it. We've got... Fix It Sticks Compact Ratchet, to ratchet Tool. Wow, that is so compact. I'm just going to read you guys what it says. Quickly tighten and loosen screws, even in tight spots, with Fix It Sticks. Okay, so if I'm reading this right. This comes up here, here. So there's the system. And... Guess I can put the bits in here. Okay, there you go. So you can do a quick bit. I'll tell you, this thing feels really hefty. Huh. I'll have to mess with it and try it out. If you want to see anything here in action, let me know in the comments. Again, a lot of this stuff's for camping, survivalists, this, Battle Box, and a few of the other subscriptions I'm part of. So if you guys want to see me test them in real world, let me know and I'll set up probably monthly camping trips. And you guys can come out with me for like an overnighter or a weekend trip. All right, so this is the Dark Energy Poseidon Pro. The Poseidon Pro is a workhorse power bank built for the elements and for any adventure. It's IP68 certified for dust resistance. It's 1.5 meter water resistant. All right, it's capable of charging your devices up to two and a half times faster than any normal charger. It's a 10,200 milliamp power device. It has a built-in flashlight and oh, other safety functions. Let's go ahead and pop her open real quick. This is fun, it's like Hanukkah or Christmas for my non-Jewish friends here. <laughs> this is pretty rugged. So you got rubber, feels like rubber on the edges. And of course, camo, charger cable. It's USB-C and the cable is one of those fabric cables, uh, similar to what Belkin sells. It's good quality. It looks like it has a belt clip holder, a nice carabiner. This is a special carabiner. So you've got a window breaker. So if you're like stuck in a car, you got a special window out or windshield out, you've got that. You've got the carabiner. You got a bottle opener there, Phillips screwdriver and, or a flathead screwdriver. But you've also got, yep, there it is, a knife. Got another knife for my collection. And the carabiner is nice. I'm going to have to put this to the test. I don't know if I'll, I mean, this is pretty nice. I don't know if I'll test this like I did the uh, SanDisk uh, hard drives, but I will test it out. We'll figure out you know, how good it really is. Next up is, I'm assuming this is a knife. Yep, this is the Whoops Bad Boy Tonto. I mean, it's just a box. You don't care what that looks like. Nice and small. Look at that leather sheath, not a fitted sheath. There you go. Nice little Tonto. Bad Boy Tonto. So this is created by the Bad Boy as a premium EDC everyday carry. Essential carry knife. This compact fixed blade includes an Italian leather sheath. I like wood. I like metal. This is a nice wood. It's a walnut. Mm. I love the smell of wood. Yeah, it smells good. But anyways, yeah. Nice uh, solid wood uh, handle. Made in America. Italian sheath. The only thing I would say negative about this, again, is it's not a like custom sheath, just a rectangle body. Sharpness test. Oh my gosh. 
Let's see if it focus. I don't know if it's going to focus. Anyways, that took off a whole lot of hairs. Really nice knife. Cool. I got two knives today. Moving on. Phoenix Feather Outdoor Elements. So this is another knife. Hey, three knives. I'm liking this box. Alrighty. Oh, I like this already. Now this... Sorry about that. Battery died. Anyways, back to this knife. The sheath is a plastic, very hard plastic. It has a belt clip on it. And the knife is really nice. Now it's set up, I can easily wrap this with a uh, paracord. Um, hmm. See, I don't mind short handles, but this one's a little uncomfortable, actually. All right, whether you're an avid hunter or survivalist, having the proper camping blade to aid in cleaning a game is paramount. The Phoenix Feather is made from ultra strong D2 steel, holds its edge incredibly well. It's a three inch blade, overall is six inches. Extremely lightweight, it makes me feel like I'm holding titanium. The only thing I don't like is it's small. If it was like a half an inch more, it just feels a little, a little short. Anyways, I'll, I'll have to try it out. And if you guys let me know if you want to come camping with me, you guys can see me trying it out. So there we go. We got three knives. All right, let's see what's next. This is my medical pocket. I'm not going to really spend a lot of time on this one because if you know what a medical kit is, you know what a medical kit is. The case is really nice uh, material. It's thick, it's strong. You definitely can feel it's durable. It's got everything in there. I see sutures, I see bandages, eye wash. You got scissors, you got gauze, it has cold compresses, regular bandages, first aid, burns. So it, it's, a, it's a medical kit. Now, personally, I make my own medical kits. I like making my own. Then I know what's in there, exactly what I need. I'll have to go through it and actually see if it's worth it, but whatever. We got a medical kit there. Alrighty, moving on. That's garbage. Uh, field and stream the total gun manual. I heard that they give like lots of really good books. So I'll read through it. All right, then we have, I think one more thing. Yep, something I really don't need because I've got a lot of them anyways. It's called the Outlaw Backpack. A quality pack is a must. That's absolutely true. And one that doesn't bring attention to itself. That's actually true. So having a backpack that just looks like a backpack is nice. It's a 600D polyester fabric, internal pockets, straps, are external and internal loops, expandable from eight inches to 13 inches in width. It has no ventilation on the back part here. I personally don't like that. That's just me. It has the Crate Club logo on here. Lots of storage. Oh yeah, lots and lots of storage, lots of padding on the back. Like, uh, you can use it as a small bug out bag. Not bad. All right, so that was my first uh, box from Crate Club. A mystery box, not like the normal boxes. I will start doing some giveaways on stuff that I have a lot of. Like, once my YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram channels start getting at least a 1,000 likes per video, I will start doing that. My channels overseas all have more than that now. Once they do, I'll start doing um, giveaways. Uh, for those in North America. Sorry guys if you're abroad. Like I said, I'll leave a, a link in the description to get your own Cray Club membership. I don't know what you think, but I think it's still cool. All this, it cost me, I believe it was $200. Medical kit, yeah, this gear, the backpack, definitely worth it. I mean, this is definitely over 200 bucks. Hey guys, Future Me here. As you saw on screen, the box actually cost me $299. I went ahead and calculated the total of all the items if you bought it online today, and it would run $457.88. So I think I made out like a bandit. I mean, this battery bank alone, I'm sure is going to be half the money right there. Anyways, hope you guys like this video. It was a little bit longer than the other ones I've done so far. I've got, uh, I believe, one or two more videos to make for you guys of unboxing of the stuff I've got with me. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.